Oh, the Melbourne Sports Line. Game 7 of the Devils Penguin Series is done, and like a few Game 7s before, it was a bit one-sided. The thing about a seventh game is when the home side gets a bit of a lead, that's basically it. The real drama happened in the pregame skate when Paul Coffey, complete with shield skated, decided he could play despite a scary eye injury the other night. The only drama in the game happened when Mario Lemieux left the game in the second period with back spasms. And the answer to the question, could the Devils take advantage, is a rather loud no. And so now the Caps get set for the Caps. Let's go over the video evidence. Here we go. Yes, Elvis! The big L is back. Are you lonesome tonight? <laughs> no, there's too many people there. <laughs> Talk about strange. Paul Coffey, who was supposed to be out for the season, was back tonight, along with the big L. Gets a slash from Claude Lemieux. And obviously, Coff wearing the visor. Devils have a great chance early. Brendan Shanahan rips one off the goalpost. Then it's Fedisov with a big gap here as he coughs up the puck. And it goes to Herdina, who banks it in off Fedisov's oh. skate. And it's 1-0 for Pittsburgh. That is the game winner. Then with Pittsburgh on a power play, watch here. Pat Conniger can't handle it, plays it like Elvis. It's Mark Recchi to Mario Lemieux, who gets only his third of the playoffs. 2 nothing Penguinos after one. And yes, folks, the fans are pumped at the Igloo tonight, and why not? Let's go to the second period now. Phil Bork with a burst of speed. Passes to Herdina, who gets his second of the game. 3 nothing Penguinos after two. 56 seconds into the third period. Paul Coffey does his patented rush. That'll be the end-to-end -end variety. He goes right in on goal, takes a shot, goes off Weinrich's skate, Ugh. and uh, actually a stick, something goes off something on Eric Weinrich, and it's 4-0 uh, for Pittsburgh. Devils looking to break the shutout. That was the only question. Kirk Muller to Bruce Driver. His blast is stopped by Peter Angelo, the apostle. Unbeatable tonight, recovering after a busy Easter weekend. 4-0 Pittsburgh over Jersey <laughs> is the final. Herdina had two goals, Lemieux and Coffey with the singles. Penguinos win the series 4-3. Peter Angelo had 27 saves and an assist. And Pittsburgh will now host Washington. The Patrick Division final starts Wednesday night at 7.30. The other final in that conference, the Adams Division final, Montreal and Boston at 7.35. And uh, things could go... Uh, Either way, in a lot of those series, I should point out here that uh, a lot of the rough stuff we saw in the first couple of, yeah. uh, well, in the first series in, in all divisions, except for the, uh, the one with Calgary and Edmonton, uh, continues. Pat Verbeek, you remember he punched uh, Sweeney yeah, of Boston. Yeah, sucker punched him. Yeah, he's going to be dealt with tomorrow. But one thing I, I hope that does happen in the second round, and the game sevens tomorrow night, is the stick work gets yeah. dissipated. It's brutal. You're right about the, uh, the Calgary-Edmonton series. All the other series should be watching these guys, and this is how we should be playing hockey. Absolutely. We watch the games, and I mean, there's a lot of elbowing and the odd, uh, you know, knee or that type of thing, but I'm not saying that that's good, but if no. you're going to play high-intensity hockey, if you leave the sticks down, the, the hitting is going to be more part of the game. I mean, uh, any kind of stick work, uh, you're asking for trouble. I think a nice moment also tonight was when Coffey shook hands with Fedezov, and I mean, obviously, his team won, yeah. and he seems to be okay, so he's kind of going... Don't worry about it. I'm not sure his reaction would be the same had the Pens lost to New Jersey tonight and Fedezov uh, would have gone on. Who do you like between Pittsburgh and Washington now? I'd have to say <laughs> Pittsburgh only because, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm choked up about this prediction. <laughs> only because Pittsburgh. they have the forwards who can put the puck yeah. in the net. That's Washington's downfall, without a doubt. Yeah, and, but Washington's got the hot goalie, Don Beaupre. Uh, mind you, I don't know about Frank Pietrangelo. He's played extremely well the last yeah. two games he was called on. Niagara Falls, lad, and... Uh, Sometimes that kind of momentum. Also, there's something about a team that goes seven games in the first round. If you go the full seven, for some reason, if you survive that, you get better and better. Yeah, I mean, not saying true. Washington had an easy time with the Rangers. No. But sometimes when you get that extra day of rest, it's, it's not beneficial. I think Pittsburgh's going to, from this, with Coffey back, with Peter Angelo playing well, hopefully with Lemieux coming in, they're, I think I'd like them to knock off Washington. Boston, Montreal, now that's another story because... Oh, yeah. You know, I mean, most would say that Boston's the better hockey team, but... I don't know about that. Montreal's yeah. probably the most efficient roster in the league and has been for about five years. They don't have a lot of talent. What they, what they do have, they use to the ultimate and with Rouen. And that's, so uh, we agree on the halves, then. Uh, if they can, yeah. stay, if they can yeah. keep Boston from bumping them around, right. they can win that series. Yeah, I've got to believe Patrick Waugh. His lousy games are behind him, and he's, he's going to be uh, Boston's le much more beatable this year than they were last year. Okay, we both like Montreal, and we both like... Pittsburgh. Well, let's turn to the boys of summer now, even though it still feels like the dead of winter. TSN is your ace in the hole.